There are a million memories I have of my dad. He loved a Harley Davidson. He was sort of like the Chinese James Dean of his time. He liked muscle shirts. He wore his hair long in a ponytail. He wasn't the stereotypical Chinese grocer that you would imagine. I'm Cindy Plum Lofton. I live in Shaw, Mississippi. My parents' names were Alfred Kwong and Mei Chiu Kwong. Their first business was a grocery store. It was called Leadway Grocery, L-E-A-D-W-A-Y, and it was located in downtown Shaw. This is where it all began. This is where my dad's first business was. It was the original Leadway. I remember there were glass panes all right here. The front door was here. And of course, there were buggies up front and the produce on that side. Um, I think the floor tile was red and green and, and beige. I remember exactly where the bread was, where the flour was. I learned at an early age that this is what we did, but this was his first store. And as a businessman and, and entrepreneur, um, this spot served him well. As he grew larger and the business was more successful and he became more well-known in the community, he bought the piece of property on Highway 61. Mostly things were checked by hand and, and we stayed true to that. You knew if they were struggling or maybe the first of the month or the payday hadn't come yet. He did a lot of credit business and, and gave a lot of things away. The business was, I think, such a landmark, and my father was such a large figure in the community. He helped other people, other neighbors, build their projects. People called him Leadway. Uh, he was just a good, giving kind of man. On September the 20th, 2007, I was going on a trip, and I stopped by to see my father. And that was the last time I ever saw him. Saturday night or whenever. Um, so it was the beginning, it was the beginning of the end. We knew he was well loved, um, but we didn't know how well loved because over 2,000 people attended his funeral. After my dad was killed, the, the parking lot was filled because the community on its own decided to have a vigil. And I remember having to park across the highway and when we drove up, you could just see people like little ants just converging on the parking lot. It was an amazing tribute and I was just overwhelmed by, by the people that were here. You know, I hope he knows how proud <laughs> we all were of him and how much we loved him and still love him. His death was so wrong and it was so horrible that in order to make it make sense, I had to do some things very, very differently. It meant not making as much money. It meant doing as much good as I could on this earth for other people 
because he was no longer able to do it. I decided to return to the field of counseling since I already had the training and I knew I could do good work with people. Now, on a daily basis, I get to make appointments with people who are in pain, who are in trouble, and I work with them one-on-one -on -one, uh, week after week to try to better their lives. My father was a builder. He liked to build things, but he also liked to build people up. And I hope that that's what I'm doing as a counselor. I'm building people up as well. All right, Will Dukes. So how was your day? Yeah, very good. I started working in the school system and on a volunteer basis with African-American youth. This one young man that I've met, his name is Willie. He's 14 years old, he's a good-natured soul, and he's just very special. We got your project to look at. We'll work on a school project. We'll go on the laptop and print off some things and put that project together. And when is the, that's the assignment? That's when May it's due? May 21st, okay. 2014. All right, so, all right, so how many points are we looking to make on this thing? Um, total point is yep. 60. And you would like to get how many points? Um, 100. <laughs> Well, yeah, that'd be nice, but she's only going to give you how many? 60. 60. So 60 is good? For that amount right there. Okay, that's right. So we're aiming for 60? Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's what we'll do. By my singling him out and, and taking good care of him and trying to love him as a mentor and an adult that really, really wants to see him succeed is huge. If these kids don't have someone to take them under their wings and guide them, then they end up running the streets. I've been like shadow boxing with the weights. Okay. And hitting the bag. Okay. All right. So what about running? Yes, ma'am. I have been, I have been doing a lot of running. Where? Up the levee. Like I have been running to the store. Like my sister, <laughs> they tell me to go to the store. I just you run? Take that run. Okay. Yes, okay. So you just grab those and go, and I'll run you to your house. When you the other children asked Willie at the school, who's that Chinese lady, I found out that he told them, she's my Chinese godmama. I think that something this whole thing has taught me and continues to, to teach me is that you do have to have faith and you have to have hope. It's about helping as many people as you can. If someone had talked to the 16 and 18 year old kids, if someone had taken them by the hand, then maybe my father would be alive today. decision to stay in Shaw after this happened um, was really a natural one. I have my father's blood running through my veins and I hope my father would have been proud of me for staying and, and being strong.